Hello and welcome to the 6 Plus 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 Show, a podcast for your wargaming and 40k needs. Hobby talk, tactics, tournament reports, lore and much more. We have it all. Please welcome your host for the evening, Tom. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and grudge-bearing prospectors to that 6 plus 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 show. I am your host, Tom. Um, I've heard one on the street that there are other members of 6 plus plus hosting podcast episodes at the moment. I'm, I'm not impressed with this, and so I'll be having words with you, Dave. You get going, going rogue and talking about tyrannies behind my back. It's not on, but um, we'll have that conversation another day. Um, I am back today with a state of play. Um, for an entirely new faction, and I am joined by the wonderful Jake Harding. How are you doing, Jake? I'm really well, mate. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really looking forward to obviously talk about the the leagues of Votan and and <laughs> obviously see what see what we can do and where the state of play of them is. So yeah, absolutely. I think it's a, it's a really interesting one because I I've not played against them really yet. I am painting some and I've had a look at the book and I have got some ideas, but I, I'm very excited to get some sort of field experience from someone who's been out and played a load of games with them and someone who's a massive, a very passionate advocate of Votan and has has been from the very beginning. Not, not that it's that long ago, but certainly has been from the very beginning as well. Um, <laughs> do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Jake? Because obviously, you know, I, th- I think a lot of people will be very familiar with you because you're one of the sort of the faces of Vanguard Tactics. But t- tell us a bit about yourself and your sort of your background and what you do in the, in the hobby and elsewhere. Yeah, so um, obviously, yeah, my name's Jake, obviously. So I, I represent a channel called Vanguard Tactics, which is also on YouTube as well. And um, we do yeah. like live streams. We're all based in the UK. So we normally do like a once a week live stream. And then we do other sort of videos depending on, mm. you know, like memberships and all that malarkey. Yeah. <laughs> but then yeah, yeah, the main, yeah. main thing we do is it's like an academy and workshop. So we've hosted three workshops, two in America, one in the uk which is all for like you know if you want to improve your play and then mm. the academy which is the main product that vanguard tactics supplies is a 12-week course all based around improving your play um we've actually it's really funny it's actually the day we're recording this is the first day of the new intake oh exciting. So, um very exciting so, yeah so um they'll be getting into all of that so um do they have a, a fresh things- week <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I certainly, yeah they don't get to have tr- freshers into the traditional sense but i definitely think we should sort of something <laughs> it'd get a bit messy though. yeah yeah so, absolutely um, yeah but um yeah that that's that's basically me other than that i just um you know played a few factions i was basically this season um, mainly gene sick cults and sisters but yes i was waiting yes. for the for the one the, this the one. one the true calling and now the, the dwarves now it's, here. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's here we can all just relax and have some fun and, <laughs> it's and an exciting it's time be, yeah it's amazing I, i'm as i said like like i said the, the the day the model the first ever model got announced i was instantly like on it and yeah it's felt like an age but it is funny when you said you know like you said it isn't actually that long we had to wait but it felt like an age <laughs> no, absolutely, and it's 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 an interesting thing, and it it was it was this it sort of came from nowhere that announcement. It was super exciting with the the like the joke video and everything else that they did about squats coming back. It was April Fools, didn't they? They first teased it, which was really funny. Yeah. Um, quite savvy, yeah. quite savvy for Games Workshop PR. I thought I thought it was quite quite nicely done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was it was nice because if um obviously for people that remember like Eighth Edition, like like that you mm. know the tail end of that when they announced Sisters of Battle and you know like that was a whole year and they they were quite open with it all and you know they did all the cool showing it off and then the vote yeah. just felt very like oh by the way <laughs> like this yeah. is actually yeah, yeah, yeah. this isn't a joke yeah. yeah. Um, which I'm, yeah, I'm very, very glad. It's, been, I think it's long overdue in it, and yeah, you know, I think, I think they've got a very cool book. Um, after the changes, I think it's a cool book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, we, we we can talk about that. But I, I completely agree. I think that there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I think there's, it's, it needed the adjustments. We'll, we'll go into that a bit later. But yeah, the fact that you've had those straight out the bat, so you can just get on with enjoying it without having the sort of teething era that so many books have had in more recent times I mean, as someone who plays harlequins um, and drakari there was there were eras with both those books which was like oh this is this is just this just isn't good like this you know this this needs some stuff before it's going to feel like i'm i'm really playing it properly and, and able to enjoy it so i think it was really cool that they responded so quickly and made those adjustments ahead of time right um yeah 100 they they definitely smashed that like i don't yeah. think 
I don't think any like as much as a, like obviously balance certain balance data slates, the previous ones have <laughs> not been the best and and all that. You can't deny that that's probably one of the best things they've done. No, I, I completely agree. How, how quickly. Um, and speaking from somebody who also did manage to get a few games with him before the changes via our live streams, yeah. um, they definitely needed it. So, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. And they they haven't they haven't lost out that much, to be honest. No. I think they're now like then instead of being in a tier of their own, they're now, <laughs> you know, they're now yeah, like they're they're in amongst ev- it, right? Everyone, yeah, exactly. Which is how, in my opinion, it all should be. So, yeah, no, absolutely, and um, that's that's really cool. And I say Van- Vanguard Tactics are obviously amazing. As I say, I've, I've I've got one one good friend locally who I play, and the first time I played, him, he was he was sort of new back. He'd done he'd actually done an academy course first before before oh, sort of cool. rejoining, and you could tell. <laughs> I'll put it that way. You could definitely tell. Like very very sharp, sharp, snappy player. Did all the right things, asked all the right questions, and I think you know I'm a big fan of the Vanguard podcast. I really enjoy that. Um, I think I think it's really kicked on up again. Who's who's the new host? The the, the American lad, Dave. 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 Dave, Dave is Dave is legend. wonderful. Dave's a man after my own heart. Talks talks a lot. Has always <laughs> turning a phrase. I really like it. I really enjoy what he brings to the I, show. And I but you've yeah. got a great bunch of personalities over there as well. Really, well, thank really nice you. Good. It's the same for you guys as well. Obviously, I do I do have a look at the show when I can, and I do really enjoy enjoy watching it and and just sort of and listening. Well, I said I'm more just sit there listening, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's, sometimes we've got else, stuff we need but... to do, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I exactly. think that's what the so, podcast yeah. world's so good for. <laughs> No, exactly, and as I said, it's a. Uh, I think you're smashing it at the moment. Genuinely, oh, that's really so. kind, man. Thank you very much. It's good. That's very, so. very kind. Obviously, we, we've taken a leaf out of your guys' book and got some cool shirts recently because that's that's one thing you always remember when you play a Vanguard game. Like, oh, cool shirt! Uh, so we're trying we're trying to get some cool shirts going on. Everyone's got <laughs> cool shirts now. It seems like the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Warmasters, War Masters, the, yeah, they have the really nice red and black, right? It's very yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, we're actually looking in at doing like a new design for the shirts for the new season for the ITC. I don't know oh, how, how quickly that will come out, but um, oh, awesome! As a, as a big fan of football myself, I said to Steve, I was like, each season there needs to be a new shirt. Yeah, type yeah, yeah, because yeah. one day okay. there'll be like you know vintage Vanguard Tactics replica kits <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Num- Vanguard wearing, wearing their kit, harking back to the 2025 <laughs> season. <laughs> 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 It'll be, oh, it'll be we, we all know one day that will, we all know one day that like, you'll see that WTC style like you know they will be having it and it'll be like coldest kits of 2021 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like, it's cool I think it's, um, it, t- it all takes it in a really exciting direction I think I think the ethos with Vanguard as well that's exciting the fact you know it's, it's the it's a it's a team that sort of combines that higher standard of play but also really high standard of sportsmanship and all that stuff I think it's it's sort of set a template now that I think pretty much every major team that I know really wants to you know sort of imitate and 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 link up with and I think it it sort of with you guys you're always very good at speaking out and setting the direction for you know the kind of the ethics and the ethos and the culture of the game which I think is a massively healthy thing because I think at times in the in the world of competing and comparing and people can lose track of those those basics right why we play the game and the the enjoyment that we can get out of it if we if we do it in the right way and 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 make it something that's sort of about who you're playing with as much as it is about yourself so I think that's a really cool yeah (laughs) yeah I think it's the logic you know be the change you want not you know like yeah oh 100% you know, like if you like, obviously speaking for somebody who's you know, like I've been playing competitive forty k since the start of eighth edition. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so not as long as other people out there, you know. Um, and one of the big things that I've always had is that like I'm a I'm a social person first, a gamer second, and yeah. anything else to do with the hobby I don't really care about. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. No, exactly yeah, right. That's but, it. It's um, a priorities it's, thing, right? Yeah, so like if if someone like if I I would feel better about a game if someone walked away from the game and was like that was really like, you know like he was a nice person or that was enjoyable yeah. Yeah. rather than if I won or not like you know naturally mm-hmm. with um like with anything you know like winning's cool I don't think anyone would deny that but <laughs> yeah it's nice um, right but you know like if 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 I've won and it wasn't like in the right way or you know like as an example yeah. like I know I know in myself I would feel i wouldn't i wouldn't be a win you know so no yeah i completely agree yeah. i completely agree and i think that's that's an, an awesome thing and a really important thing to take forward great okay well we will start getting 
specific now. We'll start talking about dwarves. <laughs> these leagues of Votan, these little guys. I've been building someone. They are so little. It's amazing how small they are. They're just they're just yeah. so adorable. The models are fantastic. The, the model <laughs> is, is, yeah, I've just I've got like I'm in the process of sorting out my room, which is why everything looks like a massive <laughs> Like a bombs hit it, and um, I've got, I've got like, I've, I've got the spares of what I'm not using at the moment in my list yeah. over there, and um, yeah, every yeah. time I look at them, they always just, they're very, very cool, and um, they spark they joy, def- don't they? Yeah, <laughs> they really do. I, have, I just, if I've had a bad day, I just look at one, and I'm like, yeah, you, you've yeah. done this for me, thank yeah, you. <laughs> absolutely. I think at the moment it's the Sagittoa for me. I just that little thing is just adorable. I just, I just, it's just like it's that little sort of size <laughs> yeah, of a, it's like a little. Oh, it, it yeah. really is it's so cute it's just yeah and they're, they're really really cool models um i mean for yourself i guess if we talk about it'd be interesting to know what sort of what what it was about them that appealed to you and why you why you've sort of got into them in the first place and then i guess we can we can talk about how the army's actually playing and, and how you're finding it in yeah. in the field as it were but let's yeah what's what's the appeal jake why why the dwarves for yourself what do you like about them <laughs> um so there's two reasons so one I'm a short person, so <laughs> having so everyone was Empathy, always going solidarity. On about, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like everybody was going on about like, you know, representation in war gaming and I'm like, look, there's no short people. So yeah. we need yeah. some short people and yeah. look, and lo and behold they did it. And <laughs> then the real reason is because I I, I am will always will be, like how I started playing war gaming was Warhammer Fantasy. Um, yeah which was a big, big part of like the whole reason I'm still playing at all. Um, obviously now in 40k, not in fantasy, but without that game, I wouldn't have been it. And I always had like dwarfs in some form of army mm. like that. And so when I saw, like, I, I always remember like growing up and stuff, like whenever I'd be in like the local gaming shop, you know, like a good, good friend of mine, Alex, who still runs our local shop. He, um, he would always tell me about like, oh, you know, like he'd get like all the old books out and he'd show me all these models. And I just remember one day seeing these dwarfs. And I was like, well, they're not in the game anymore. So where are they? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he was like, oh, they, they're like, they're called, you know, like he explained it all, they're called squats and all that. Yeah. And then, um, then obviously I was like, okay, well, if they, I said to, I remember saying, I was like, if they ever come out, I'll do them. And then, <laughs> you know, it just Here happened we are. about seven, seven years later. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I kept to my word. So if he, yeah, is, yeah. If he does watch these and, you know, I, I do see him sometimes, <laughs> but he'll, he'll know that I did actually keep to my word. So Yeah. And yeah, that, that's really, if, yeah. Then obviously naturally, like they started showing off models and just the models grew on me a lot. Um, yeah. And like, it was very rare that, it's very rare, I think, especially like with, how a lot of war gaming is because it's quite personable in it like you know so a lot of yes. people do because they like models and stuff like i didn't like there wasn't a model i didn't like when i saw yeah. when they all got announced and mm-hmm. i think that's also a big thing for it and then yeah it just sort of spiraled from there and yeah and just I, as i said just got the book like everyone else read the book mm. was like this is obviously like we said we we're talking about it's the a cool book. part of it but yeah, but, yeah. When we, yeah when, once you took out all the ridiculousness like you actually yeah. was like this is quite a solid codex here you know competitively speaking yeah. i think it's got a lot of play and you know and there yeah, just really 100%. really took my really took my fancy so I yeah had to go for it. no absolutely I, I've, I've had a funny journey with it because i think when it dropped i was sort of i wasn't i wasn't i was really really pleased that they were back and i was really really I really liked the aesthetic and thought that was awesome, but it was, it wasn't on my priorities. It wasn't an army. I was sort of like, Oh, I must go and get this. And then I think as time came, as it got towards the release, I really liked the models, especially I liked the sort of some of the, the bits that were a little bit less in the clean cut. Like, look like I liked the grim near. I liked the berserks. I really like yeah. some of the stuff that's a bit more organic and I could, you can kind of see that they're going to take it in several different directions, right? It's going to have like three or four sort of families of aesthetics under it eventually and that's exciting <laughs> to me like that's yeah. really exciting <laughs> yeah it's it's very cool isn't it it's um i think the best the best sort of thing for a faction is is knowing that it's going to get more um that as I well think, like yeah with, you know like you, you can like you said you know you can just tell like from the aesthetic from mm-hmm. like, i don't really read the backstory but a lot of people tell me about the backstory and, and like, <laughs> well, actually from you know reading it you've got all the sort of iron kin the men of iron all that type yes. of thing you've got like yeah you know all the you can like i was really hoping for like a dreadnought you know like a dreadnought type oh, thing surely it's gonna happen right there'll be yeah. all like little so, walkers at some point it's gotta come it's gotta like happen we've got, be a... <laughs> we've got normal dude 
half guard XAC. Yeah, there's yeah, a step up yeah, then, like, that medium you know, size. So. Yeah, it, it'll it'll definitely happen. I'm sure it will happen. Um, and I'm quite I, the pioneers and the kind of sort of the the wild outrider types. I'm quite intrigued to see what other stuff you could add to that as well. Because obviously we've got the bikes, but it feels like that kind of more sort of like coat and goggles kind of style yeah yeah exactly that sort of style there's a lot of potential (laughs) for it and i think the other thing as well i mean it it was partly because of the drama around the rules and the release but i was sort of like i again i I, a a bit like yourself i'm very i'm always drawn to positivity like to emphasize positivity and especially for me that's why i play the game right you know to get to get excited about stuff to get excited about playing games meeting people and i was kind of like this there's this amazing rage that's right here in front of people and there's all this all this sort of noise and buzz and concern (laughs) i was like nah to hell with that i'm going in i'm going to go in and see what it's all about and enjoy it and make the most of it right and, yeah, and that's exactly. so that's the plan and as you as you say there were changes that were definitely needed it was, it was so funny because like when i read the votan book I, most of the time i forget that judgment tokens exist and i'm reading it and i'm still like really happy with it and that's the funny yeah. thing because the grudge you know, the grudge mechanic is so powerful and that's obviously one of one of yeah. the things that was 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 why they've had to ramp up points and adjust it but I, mm. I was really enjoying what I was reading with the sub-factions and the units and everything else completely without that added layer that adds so much raw power, which I think is exciting because it means wherever they go with it in the future, you know, there's, all, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. Um, and it's not going to just hinge on the auto-wounding and other stuff, which obviously some people are, are less into. Um, but let's let's get into it, Jake, because obviously you know, this, is, this, is, um, this book's landed with sort of, I guess, a sort of love, sort of golden age of the edition to run through now up until other, any changes that might face us, right? A lot of balance, a lot of adjustments, lots of armies in a nice spot. So I guess I'm curious, from your games playing it in its current form with the adjustments that were made, where do you feel Votan sit in the game, in the meta right now? What's their role? What are they good at? What's their sort of strength? Um, and, and sort of where are they in terms of power and placing, would you say? Yeah, so... I think, obviously, I think they're very strong. I don't think there's any yeah. um, taking away from that at all. Um, yeah. I think anyone who doesn't think they're strong maybe hasn't played <laughs> against them yeah. or has maybe not played against like an optimised list because I definitely think yeah. there is a very specific build that you have in, in their army that makes mm-hmm. them the most competitive. Right, um, okay. In terms of their role, like they're an army that, like in, <laughs> as cliche as it sounds, they just kill stuff, don't they? Like They're, yeah. they're very efficient at doing it and so like for example like my experience in my games was that so at the so i went to my first gt with them i managed to go four and one with them mm-hmm. i only lost Fantastic. the final so that was obviously yeah. a bit a bit, a bit, a bit <laughs> of a sad strong moment, st- strong inning <laughs> oh so close <laughs> yeah uh, you know yeah but obviously you know like but the the whole list was just based around like kill like this kill secondary this kill secondary and then like yeah. if i've tabled you then i can go get some other stuff at the end of the game yeah um so they're very good at obviously doing that. In terms of their durability, um, it's quite funny, right? So they've got like their warriors are very durable because of the mm-hmm. medic mechanic that they have. And yes, the medic's like, amazing. Depending, yeah, depending on the league. The the bikes I find aren't as durable in like ter- certain leagues, but they're not designed to be, in my opinion. They're no. more designed. They're basically get, yeah, they're still dur- you know, they're still T five, three wounds each, four for yeah, you know, yeah. the rotary guy, but in the grand scheme of it, like they're they're put you know, how you're playing them is not you know they're not supposed to be alive that long no (laughs) Um, no and and they do important work don't they but they're not going to hold points for you on their own yeah exactly and and then you've then you enter like the sort of you know the the cream of the crop type thing the land fortresses and your your Mm -hmm. your hearth guard and your berserkers which are just like they kill they they (laughs) survive they do it all you know like Mm -hmm. and then the characters are just there to help the army out like they're they're a true they're a true real buffing piece, very similar to like you know you see in the new guard book. Um, yes, yeah, and well, they, they feel a little bit space marine as well. The characters where they've got that real specialization, right? They each bring the best out of something in the army as well. Yeah. You know, with the especially with the upgraded ones, you know, they really they really do really really, really <laughs> important important things to buffing up units. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's nice, right? Like because. I know a lot of people compare them to Space Marines, like they're better Space Marines. I don't agree that depending oh, on how yeah, you yeah. play, what type of Space Marine you play, they're better. But um, yeah, completely. But in terms of like, for a faction that doesn't have a lot of choice in terms of, because naturally, obviously the book is, is small compared to other things. Um, mm-hmm. Having those four characters, but they all do something different. So there's none of this. Yes. I've got a Carl and or like I've got, 
X character, I've got X character. They're both really the same thing, but one's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a bit more efficient, so I'll take him. And yeah, you know, so everything feels like it has a role. Like every every yeah. unit that I've played about with, put in my list. I think I've probably for the first time in ever really with an army, I've I've tried one of every unit out and yeah. made my informed decision of you know does it go in, does it come out, does it go in, and the amount of times I'm like seeing myself even just picking a model out of a unit and putting a different thing in there and i'm like and and <laughs> yeah. everything has felt different you know mm-hmm. everything's brought in and i think that's that's good obviously isn't it naturally oh, definitely um, yeah i think the, le- the level of customization with weapons and gear and tools is great and as you say everything is relevant everything plays an important role if you if you build it to do that and that's exciting there's not any there's really no superfluous units or upgrades in the book so it's just about how which way you decide to build and use with it which is great as as a for as as first landing that's pretty great right <laughs> yeah i think in terms of like you know in terms of an enjoyable army that you can do a lot with it's it is that it's a very good army as well don't get me wrong it in my it, it's bad matchups are of I know that we're going to speak about that in a bit but yeah. just yeah, as yeah. A nice, like, like their bad matchups are really bad like really <laughs> really bad but their good matchups or okay matchups are very good or good you know like yeah. it's 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 funny i think they sit in a very like great great or bad bad <laughs> like there's no yeah, 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 yeah. in between like at least in these from my experiences obviously i don't know others who may be listening to this or have you know or others out there in the in the competitive scene may have different opinions to that but mm. in, in my head that's just how i've seen it like in most of the games that i thought were like okay matchups for me or good matchups i found that they're more my games that i've i've smashed quite heavily and then yeah my matchups that i thought were like I'm not too sure or bad have just been like horrific. So yeah. <laughs> you know, it's no, just I think, I think that's exactly out. right. That's exactly right. Cause even if you're looking at it from a sort of results and win percentages angle, I don't yeah. tend to get too sucked into that, but it's very clear looking at it that there, there must be right. And this, and this is where I'm interested yeah. to talk to you. Cause I'm looking at like, there clearly are some matchups that are hurting them because otherwise you'd be mm. seeing much more of a wash. You know, when a new book comes and people are excited and they jump on it, if if there aren't bad matchups, it flies and it soars and it dominates everything, right? And that yeah. is not what we're seeing, which is reassuring. And it means that the nerf worked. It means that the points changes work. But it also means that actually where they sit in the meta is interesting to discuss. So let's let's move in that direction. I'm really curious what you think. A, mm-hmm. what you think they do great into, and B, what you think. What's what? Where are the boogeymen? Because there are clearly some. Looking at the data, there's clearly some <laughs> boogeymen as well. So how do, how do people deal with them? And what are the Votan really good at dealing with? So we'll go with like the good, yeah. We'll start. Yeah, with let's good. start with so, the good news. <laughs> um, you know, the, the stuff they're really good into that I found are like things like protect. Sometimes knights. It depends again on your build. So if we look at like my list as an example, like mm-hmm. you know knights. Um, obviously, I haven't played New Guards. So I can't really comment on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the chaos factions. So I'm talking yep. your Death Guards, your your Thousand Sun, Thousand Suns are again a bit of a weird one because obviously we have this whole Flamer dynamic. <laughs> yeah, there is um, the whole Flamers thing. <laughs> but again, using my GT example, I I won against Demons with 15 Flamers, and I only lost I lost the final to Bio with 14 Flamers. Fla- the Oof. Flamers weren't the weren't the problem there. Um, no, it was the other stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Bio then, proper. <laughs> Yeah, anything that can score consistently, so crons, like, because again, like, what, what what you'll find with a lot of Votan lists is the secondaries wise, they're not giving up a lot. Like, my, as I said, if we look at my list as an example, like, I'm giving up six on six on um, bring it down, yeah. eight on no prisoners with the bonus, and seven on assassinate. So your your options are really yeah. scarce there. Yeah, um, yeah, but, yeah, your, yeah. but your necrons and your sisters don't care too much about that. No. Um, but then on the flip side, you can pick them up quite easily. Um, yes. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so again, versus a, a very knowledgeable player who who knows that, you know, like I just can sit there and do this. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you're more experienced players, you know, like with Necrons, you know, they know that they don't really have to interact too much with you. Yes. Um, yes. It, you, it is just a race against time. Can How quickly can I get rid of them all? <laughs> yes. Um, so, you know, so they're, they're the matchups that, like, are good slash okay. Okay. Um, you know, so that that's, like, your main one. So the, to reiterate, like, slow stuff they love because, again, yeah. you can just shoot at it and you're also yeah. very slow. Um, anything that can score well but is, you know, very squishy, again, so yeah. this is your Necrons. Mm-hmm. Um the terrible matchups. Now it's <laughs> funny, right? So you've got a lot of people say Tau. Um, mm-hmm. 
I haven't personally found that as an experience. I've actually found mm. I've done all right into Tau. Um, okay. Just due to um, obviously they have the speed and they have the firepower. Yes. Um, yeah. But again, looking at it, you also like they can only shoot move one unit of crisis suit, so you know you can deal with the rest of it. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. You know, bombers are a bit of a scary thing as well because there's no mm. fly other than the bike, so you can't. Mm-hmm. You have to shoot them out the sky. Beams yeah. make that a bit easier. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then you enter like your, you know, like then you enter like. So I think they're like the okay matchup again. I think it's yeah. very like depends on the person playing it. And then yeah. your awful matchups are like Blood Angels. Anything yeah. very very quick, like e- creation of bile. Yeah. Um, Emperor's Children to an extent, just because the yes. amount of like damage three to four. Yeah. Um, on those noise marines, plus obviously you've got a very durable unit of terminators in the middle. They're also um, quite quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anything that's like quite quick, but not like you know, Dean Sealer Cult, I think is a good matchup for Votan mm. because again, you've got like an all spec scan strat, and yes. you know, you you also can ignore like cover with half your army. So like again, a lot of the like their tricks where they're wanting to sit in the buildings or they're wanting yeah. to really hit you that hard. You're either not going to give them a lot of room, or the moment they put a unit, you know, do like using that bike list as an example. If you put that unit behind, you just scan it off the table. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then demons, as I said, I've I've beaten demons um, mm. with the fifteen flamers. Um, I didn't think they were too bad of a matchup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but then on the flip side of that, <laughs> if when when flamers have more durable mates it's a bit more difficult <laughs> so, yes yeah so that's um, interesting so it's it yeah. sounds then like it's it's stuff that's gonna hide and then punch it really hard that is that is is the issue <laughs> yeah. like if you can if you can tag a lot of it like, yeah early like especially like if we use blood angels as an example you mm-hmm. know they go first they pre-game move their death company if they, yeah, they win the pre- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if they win the pre-game role and they can somehow tag like both fortresses or you yeah know, in my as an example in my list or ever think yeah you have things to mitigate that right you can you, know, you could use berserkers to screen and stuff so mm-hmm. there's, it's not it's not impossible it's just no what you'll find is they'll be going so quick that you can't keep up with them or cut angles and yeah and they'll you know they'll measure it out and you know this, this is this is on the basis of the people you're playing are uh, people who you know obviously know their army very well and, and know all the tricks and, and stuff you play and... good blood angels players now and again don't you i think <laughs> yeah i do so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah like <laughs> yeah blood angels are the example but like yeah again you know we could use um again some imperial knights as well like something that you just yep. get in there um nids mm-hmm. nids are a funny one like i've found some success versus nids i've found some mm-hmm. not success versus nids Le- the, obviously some of the changes in form of leviathan getting changed obviously helped a lot yes um but then now there's a scarier list that's faster that's people using. <laughs> yeah so i don't know yeah. how much you know, i'm actually that happy about <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um, it feels like the direction nids are now moving sounds more like what you're saying is a problem right rather you know if i imagine if they'd put those warrior bricks out you'd have been like thank you very much and just pick those up to be honest yeah (laughs) it's the same with like um the terminator brick right like Mm -hmm. um you know because of like beams being a thing you can get around you can get around trans hitman quite easily Mm -hmm. because you can just target the thing behind it and then you just do the line and then you know like that so there's not too so it's not too bad like i found when i play versus like the the, the dreaded terminator brick with all the buffs it's not that been that big of a deal no that's um, interesting it's it's more the the bigger deal where the things like your you know like what's left because you're, you're focusing so much on doing that um yeah. again flamers have been a problem but not a big problem in mm-hmm. again in my experiences like i've in every game i've played i've managed to kill them all which is yeah. obviously good um, yeah yeah but then on the flip side of that, it's like in the demons matchup, they don't really have a lot left that hits very hard after. Well, that, that that's the thing for those lists, yeah, yeah. But then you have your thousand sons and your creation of bile that have that have a whole very tanky army behind it. That then yes. just goes, yeah, you know, I'm here and you know I'm pumping out more wounds and I'm doing the business. And, yeah, and mortal yeah. wounds obviously are an issue for Votan, right? I don't know what defenses Votan have. They've got that. like one. Well, they got like well, yeah, one. There's one thing, but it's a, it's a, it's a league locked stratagem, right? Um, so we don't really bother because we <laughs> no, just just, it, the, just own it. <laughs> my my the league I'm using is the Ymir, so that's like yes. the 
the optimal league, I think. Yes, um, I think so. My opinion. Um, again, yeah, should, should we talk about that? Should we should we go into the leagues a bit? Because I, I would agree. I think yeah, Amir, yeah. In the, Amir in the style that you've been running is is a really powerful force, and I think we should definitely unpack yeah. that. But then I am legitimately curious what other directions you think the book can go yeah. in if we look oh. just below yeah. as well. <laughs> I genuinely think that every league has play in some I, way. Yeah, I, I, I'm every completely with you on one. that. I don't um, think you'll take I, a league to an event and have a bad time. Like I think you can definitely yeah. win games with any of the oh, leagues, which is cool. It, it is shown by other players that at least I know of. Like there's a chap called um, James Shapiro who okay. is running um, Great Ethereum League, and he's had oh, some nice. success with that. And then yeah, I've very seen nice. the, um, I believe it's Shane Watts from Goonhammer's been running the Azarani, the plus oh one nice one, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, yeah. So in terms of leagues, so like, well, I'll, I'll just speak. I'll just go like. I can rank them if you really want and then just say what I think. <laughs> Mate, that'd be great. Uh, I'd love that. Yeah. So I won't tell you what my favourite one is yet. I'll wait and see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> custom, custom leagues at the bottom because yeah. I just... Yeah. Personal preference more than anything, but I also yeah. just think that there's no ancestral grudge. There's no anything else. Like, obviously, people watching, I'm assuming you're you, you're familiar, but if you're not, an ancestral grudge is basically... If, if someone's got a judgment taken on it, it will tell you that if you they either, if they have a certain amount or if there's a rule you get that revolves around this judgment taken. Yeah. More than more than your normal buffs. <laughs> so these judgment takers do more than everyone thinks. Oh, it's crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so those are locked to specific leagues. So if you're not yeah. taking one of the specific leagues, then there's some little extra offensive advantage that you're yeah. not using, right? And that's that's yeah. super powerful. And it was a nice little inclusion that made all the sub factions relevant and flavorful, yeah. I think. It it makes it so you, uh, unlike army like Cole, where you can take like four different rules. Yeah, and these, they're all amazing. These games, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. These, these games do, then they don't really share them with the actual leagues. I think there's only like three that can be used in of in the actual leagues, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. other than that, but they're not the 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 good bits, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, absolutely. Then it then it goes like the Trans Hyperion Alliance, just because the the nerfs to Votan did hurt them a bit more than the rest of them. So because yes. of where judgment tokens don't count as sixes to wound anymore, one of their rules is that every six to wound you get extra AP on your guns. Right. Yeah. So naturally you're, like, you're just gonna bypass that a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so and if you know if you ask anyone would you rather wound automatically or have another role, <laughs> you go, well I would rather wound automatically. Um, yeah. And then they're, they're yeah, their their trait for plus one to hit as well is not again like you're running minimum units, at least in my experiences. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. when you lose a model it's not like this is i think pre nerfs i think you would have seen this one like all, nearly all the time because of interesting okay you, you wanted to take big units of 20 with magma mm. rails and rockets mm-hmm. and you know and then you're utilizing all those sixes and everything um you do yeah. have a redeploy strat which is really uh not redeploy yep. strat, redeploy wall or trait which is amazing because that's the again that's the league locked mortal wound strat as well so again yeah yeah so some nice two really stuff. powerful things yeah, two, yeah again like i again when i say like it's the second from the bottom this is like second to the bottom in comparison to the rest of them yeah yeah, yeah. But still great. Them, yeah if we start comparing them to other books i still think it probably sits around about the middle <laughs> um, yeah nice. next next is the great Ethereum league but only okay. because of so they again very good mission play because they count as double models and objectives um mm. they can reroll one hit or wound like your generic sort of thing that you're seeing a lot with the main armies yeah main reason for them is Ufar, he's a bit of a baller. Um, yes, yes, this so, is the name character, yeah, very nice. Yeah, so this is like the head honcho of one of the leagues, so he's your chapter mm-hmm. master generic guy. Um, he can make a dice of six once per battle round, and that's after the roll with rerolls. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, so again, looking at abilities, the ability to be able to slow roll something and go, okay, I'll re-roll it with a CP, okay, I really need to pass it, I'll just put the six in there. Um, yeah. he's also a bit of a beat stick in combat you know he's got oh, nice. he's got it all like he gen- yeah, and yeah. the other the other like weird thing with him is that he also turns every damage to one no matter what it is oh glorious yeah so That's very cool you know versus your massive scary bellicor you're like okay i'll run in your one damage or your blood first is all your you know depend like what your combat threats in the meta or even your shooting ones so he again i think he's he's a bit of a hidden gem and, and i think it's probably one of the main reasons you're seeing greater fear league doing good is because of how yeah. powerful he is um mm-hmm. so that's them <laughs> and then yeah and, nice. oh, and their and their judgment taken ability is that you count every judgment taken on one as one higher 
So if it essentially, yeah. so if there's one, good. there's always two, and if there's two, there's yeah. always three, which is yeah. uh, again like a bit nutty when you yeah. go into it. <laughs> um, next is the um, the toughness league. The uh, oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, in my opinion, but eighteen bikes for that. <laughs> Whoa, just yeah. maximum like you, again you want to stat check armies so you just want to mm. be like i'm toughness six you can't reroll wounds i'm just here to stay and i'm yeah, just gonna yeah. shoot you lots their other just part is reroll now okay okay new. and then you've yeah, got their, their their relics were <laughs> right their relic is that you can't target the bearer with shooting oh that's fun that's a nice tool to have yeah, so yeah. You, so again, just having it on a backfield dude, just so you know, you could have mm. a car or something or a champion that's teleporting about and you know, he's there with his, you know, hammer or axe and, you know, holding an objective on his own. Mm. You have to go put combat into him, into certain armies like Tau and stuff, which I actually think this this league's the best at dealing with Tau. You know, Tau have a lot of T like strength five or six, yes. seven weapons, you know. Yeah. You've just moved them from wounding three fours to yeah, four fives yeah. and cuts them right down. Know, yeah. It's it's a bit it's very good. I think it's a, it's it's like the skewiest list you could use, like, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's so reliant on being like i'm toughness six i don't have mm. much else in defense but i'm toughness six and yeah you can't reroll your wounds so you're i'm just mm-hmm. praying that you don't kill me very hard <laughs> yeah um and their judgment taken ability is the is the more unique one by if you actually don't have a judgment taken on them they count as having a judgment taken on oh, them cool. yeah no bad which thing. is cool um again like, up a lot of the strats thing. doesn't it so that's quite nice yeah for, like, so yeah, that's yeah. what i was just about to say so there's um like some of the relics and stratagems they can just they just get to use so you don't have to yeah, worry yeah. too much it means it means you can have a carl that's a bit more def- you know like he's you're not having to risk anyone po- poking their head out just to get <laughs> by something. Um, yeah and then it's probably the combat league um cronus uh, cronus yeah so yeah just by it you know what this one's a, a bit of a james from goonhammer special with his meta articles because every time i see him they have to be good you know like they're, they're doing yeah. neat work i don't again i think they're very much a pilot based army so if you look mm-hmm. at your you're very aggressive more players in you know in 40k like your mannies and your your steves yeah. and, and your seams like these are the people that would probably be taking this league because yeah. of how good it is in combat mm-hmm. like it makes everything good in combat as well like these warriors <laughs> it like, really three, does five. Yeah. and then you go oh but you know like they're not going to be that great into certain things you're like yeah but judgment taken through a thing so you've got like that's the thing ten, 10 yeah. dudes with like it's just a 10, 10 brick of warriors going in is just going to rinse yeah. stuff like it's, it's like just ludicrous, yeah they've like. got they've got like a few less attacks than a harlequin and yeah. they also have a really good gun and they're quite durable and yeah you know, so um and their judgment taking abilities like if you've got two on something their combat's mm-hmm. extra ap so again not not the best but we don't look at that bit. We're looking no, at more, yeah. It take it yeah. takes the really killy guys all the way to the moon, but they're already very killy. And then the normal guys, obviously, armor content means for little lads, it's not really that relevant. But it's yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then you finally sit at the top of the throne, and it's the Ymir. Yeah, here we go. Ymir. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one I've only played. Okay, yeah, so yeah. put this yeah, in perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I've, yeah. Other than stream games, all my competitive games have all been Ymir. So Ymir mm-hmm. is you get a five up involve on your whole army, unless it has a two up save, then it gets a four up. Right. And that's enormous durability, right? It's re- it's borderline <laughs> ridiculous because it turns <laughs> yeah. a land for it means a land fortress has a four up involve. It means yeah. You know, your hearth guard have a four-up involved, but more what we're looking at is this this big land fortress. Berserkers, their whole deal is they're not, you know, they have no save. That's it. Because they completely have completely counters their one yeah, weakness, which is the, the vulnerability, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, they get plus four inches on their weapon range. So the other yeah. thing that's amazing because you're mm. not fast. You've just no. so when when we did the podcast for, for the competitive forty k one, I base I used the example of like it it gives you one sixth more threat range. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like on a lot of guns, which is incredible. Um, and honestly, like more sometimes more than involved has actually been the things that has allowed me to be, you know, to be able to do so much damage on turn one or just little things like that. Um, mm. It makes it makes a hell of a difference for beams because obviously it just gives you the extra plus four, so you can maybe clap clip something just a bit more behind so you can pull the line through mm. um so it's just great in it um and then yeah. their judgment taken ability which is also amazing mm-hmm. is that um if there's a judgment taken on something if they're within half range of their guns they get plus one ap yeah so that so, stacks up 
Armor I think it's a bit. It's a bit. It's better than the melee stuff because so much more of the Votan shooting is in that kind of AP two point, right? Where it's like mm. there's a load of stuff that suddenly goes all the way up if it starts yeah. hitting those it's, higher it's... APs. It's the arm of contempt counter. Like when mm-hmm. when I built the list, obviously we're looking at we're looking at your your thousand sons, your biles, your empress yeah. children. You know, a lot of armor of contempt, right? So yeah. So and then and then you look at it and you go, non armor of contempt is just not getting a save for most of the time because then it yeah, exactly. bends into minus three or minus two, and mm-hmm. it's just very good. So so that's my like personal. If I had to rank them um, from experience, absolutely. Um, and I just fit. As I said, I just it's. Ymir is like this is like the crone like it's, it's, it's in that, that tier yeah, of its own yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. rest of them then just sort of fall apart into yeah. them I do think if, if they did if they did look at doing another vote and change I probably would look at Ymir a okay. bit okay. and just go yeah, yeah. you know maybe they could maybe they could make the judgment taken AP an extra ju- you know two judgment takers like the Kronos one yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see the logic on like why one's <laughs> two for one in combat or two for one versus shooting like yeah you know? <laughs> I think um, I think you're right because I, I I agree with you that I think Ymir is obviously the standout and I think I think probably because at the moment it amps up the two things the book's probably best at or wants to do most of the time which is the yeah. being hard to kill and shooting like an absolute mother right like, <laughs> like, really, it, 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 it does both those things it, really well <laughs> it, it is and and the thing is as well is like you were saying and alluding to when we spoke about the Kronos and you hit the nail right on the head is that your stuff's killy enough yeah you know, in yeah, combat. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. from my experiences, like I haven't I haven't had an instance where I've sent some berserkers in something and they've not <laughs> killed it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, because it, and the only reason they wouldn't have killed it is because I've probably just killed it from shooting. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so having a league based around it is really, really good if you like that playstyle and it really emphasizes that. But yeah. what I've just found in my experiences is that having like, you know, a little unit of 10 warriors and you're like, okay, I've got to take it off an objective. They've got a five of involved. They ignore the first point of damage. The sergeant yeah. has two wounds. I can bring back D3. Like They're sticking just... around, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and again, like, you're not like, in, with with certain builds, like mine, I've, I've opted for the two land fortress builds. Um, yeah. You don't yeah. have, you don't have loads left and you've got to also think no. that, you know, you need your secondary, like, again, you're scoring. Like, that. this is one of the things they probably fall down on the most is their ability to score points consistently into Completely armies that aren't, that aren't dying. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so, again, like, I've just put a Grimware in my list because I found that I need I need the Psychic Tree. Like, yes. again, we can look at it and go, but what about the Thousand Suns game? If I assume that I go to a 200-man event and I'm going to play Thousand Suns, yeah. I should... I, I could use my i should i need to use my ability as a player to get to the point of playing thousand sons with flames i completely agree yeah i, I have this with yeah. gsc at the moment where i've I've moved to having patriarch and magus back in because i i just mm. being able to get some psychic stuff done as another opening that up that set of options is so important that it's not worth me losing sleep over thousand sons which at the moment probably just roll me over anyway <laughs> so that, doesn't, doesn't you know, necessarily in the, matter like <laughs> in, the, in the nicest in the nicest way possible it is that that is how yeah. i've been thinking about it is that i look at it yeah. and i go okay well thousand sons like so i took the grimware out because i was like thousand sons like you know this yeah. is the big bad i've been to i've played eight competitive games not played a single one of them you know yeah exactly I, i've actually and, exactly. and in every and in every game having the grimware would have been really useful yeah in every yeah, yeah. single one like not just yeah. like i've i've you know I've, I've i had one bad experience in a game and i've gone oh okay no he needs to go in now. no 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 it's just so, like you, you know, can look like, at it like that would literally have made my life easier every single match yeah, and you know, like <laughs> again, it, it does mean with my ethos of the list, like I do give up a bit more on my secondaries. But again, I'm still not giving up max. Like I'm giving up eight on no prison still. I'm giving up now ten on assassinate, six on bring it down. Yeah. It's not enough to look that appealing. No. And if you're having to go ten, at any ten way, in the best case, draws. assassinate is fine, right? You can live with that. Yeah, like, that's you know, fine. yeah. And then if it forces them into grind them down, which is the one you really want them to start going, then like you can deny them so easily with it because of how yeah. your army can play and stuff and. You know, like it's it's definitely the good stuff. So yeah, completely. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm completely with you. I think I think I I liked all of the 
sub factions when I read it, and I really liked the flavor of each page. It's actually quite funny because since we've had Demons and Guard, where it's just like they just decided not to bother with that stuff, and it, I, I've kind yeah. of I've been really confused because I was like, I felt like they'd just written like the coolest set of sub factions ever, and then they were like, let's just not do it, like, <laughs> yeah, let, which is a funny is thing. A, it's a very <laughs> funny one, I think, especially like Guard as an example. Like Guard yeah. just feel like they it, obviously again they well, I haven't played against them yet, but they like in terms of in competitively, but it just feels like they got given one amazing thing and then you've got a load of other choices and it's like what would you really want to go these yeah. over the are you one really you gonna, yeah given? are you really gonna do that yeah um again yeah. i know some people who who are looking at them and going yeah these are really good but again it's, it's using these custom leagues as an example you know like what in my personal opinion you get so much from a one a normal league yeah a custom league just seems pointless yeah, so, and in, in the main, I think that's the place I'd rather have the game because I, I do I do feel like the sub factions add a lot. Like, and when when a game has got factions and people are running different craft worlds and different you know leagues and whatever else, that feels good to me. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. but it's yeah. If, if, know, with the Votan ones, yeah, they haven't quite given you something to properly build out of with the custom yeah. stuff. I think Eldar was like probably the best example of, of a yeah. faction that has the best custom traits, doesn't it? And yeah, and yeah. we saw how oppressive it got with pre yeah. Hail of the and, and it just Even meant you Hail didn't see now. Craft Worlds, right? You just didn't see yeah, Ulfway right. or Same Han or whatever else. Yeah, and, and, and now we've got a cool bit where you've got that new list that's kicking about the one with where you can advance your dudes and still move your hawks and that's what that's yeah what yeah, yeah yeah i don't know yeah. the actual <laughs> names but yeah it's swift um, strikes maybe yeah. i think something like that something yeah, like yeah. that yeah, yeah and then yeah. like and then but then you see off way still as well and yes and it, you do and it's you know it's nice in it and i just think settled down a my, bit yeah i'm definitely in the boat of and is it, i may get some hate for this but i'm definitely in the boat of if i if 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 if, if they got rid of the custom traits i would be it for it Mm-hmm. in general because i'm i do like the idea of one you know like these are your choices and yeah. all that but at the same time in terms of flavor for general gaming and stuff they are very cool you know like to, yeah. to be able to be like this is my custom faction and all that yeah, so. yeah i think i guess the dream situation is you have an environment where you can have a bunch of normal standard sub factions that are balanced and there's choice and you've got some custom traits and you can get stuff out of that as well. And I guess, I guess it's, it's, yeah. it's so hard to strike, but I would, I'd like to see that. Um, but if, if it was what going one way or the other, I'd rather see the classic factions out and about. Um, exactly. Yeah. So of, of the, of the Votan sub factions, my favorite is Cronus. And so I'm delighted to know that you put it up high. I love Cronus. And as you say, it's so ludicrous and so unnecessary, <laughs> but I just want to see bricks of dwarves hit with that kind of combat punch because it's yeah. just, it just feels like, I think for me in the long run, um, I'll want to build and play Votan in a sort of smashy hammers kind of, kind of way. Um, yeah. and I think, I think although, it's good it's good to know that it definitely does have some power and i think as I said, my favorite thing on it is exactly like you said it's what it does to the normal troops that's hilarious yeah. right it just yeah. it just makes it's them just, so ridiculous um, it's just like you look at it and they go like so are they shooting or are they combat and they're like yeah <laughs> yeah exactly and they're like, what it's do you mean like, yeah and yeah it's, it's like, like yeah. yeah and they're yeah. durable like it just, <laughs> they really again, are. yeah it's quite funny, right? Because again, like I, I didn't used to have that opinion of Kronos. I actually had the toughness league over Kronos, but okay, interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, th- yeah. I think it's just naturally because of the great thing that we have with other people, and you know, in the game, and you know, like doing well with with army. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. My, you learn that, from that, everyone that, else. You know, I looked at it and I was like, oh, this, these are doing really well. That, that's quite <laughs> surprising, actually. And then I looked at it and I was like okay cool i still don't get it but i get the archetype <laughs> and then you then you start thinking a bit more and you're like okay for my games i get how good these guys are so they yeah. must be really good in their games yeah exactly <laughs> yeah no definitely and it's cool i mean i'm, I'm I was gonna, it's gonna it's still such a long time till i'm actually going to be able to run serious forces of these but i'm i'll i will definitely try a few different things out and we'll see how we go so that's that's really cool and i think as you say i think if well, we could start talking about it now and what changes you'd like to see um yeah. But I think Amir getting nudged in the direction of the others feels probably like the most likely rules change. Are there are there any other sort of changes you'd like to see for them in the near future? And then if we're if we're wish listing, what where would you like to see them take them going further into the future as well? Yeah, yeah, of course. So um, I think the biggest one for me would just be like. So they're secondaries, right? Like, I, I, this isn't <laughs> yeah. like, like no one has to feel sorry for me here. Because, again, <laughs> it's very good, but like 
they they're not very good at doing these second days. No. What one seems very pointless, which is the action one. Like that yep. one just seems very like on the roll of a six. I get more po- like that is very. I don't like that. Yeah. The ancestor watching is the one I find. I normally go every game just because it's, okay. it's, it's, a, it's just because like. But if they've got no prisoner points, I'll get. I'll just take that. Yeah, because um, yeah, yeah. then there's no risk of me like losing points because they've got judgment tokens on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the bit I'm not too big of a fan of. I'd rather it score, <laughs> I'd rather it score less and yes. don't lose points than score more and get yes. get more points. Yeah. Um, grudge match, like again, as a secondary is 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 good, but again, it relies on like. You have to be. You have to kill them. You have to kill them if they're hundred over one hundred and fifty points. If if someone doesn't have that, that's physically impossible. If, mm-hmm. if you have to kill them in combat for an extra point, and it's just like this doesn't work. Like no. you know what I mean. Um, no. And then the, the, the final one, which I have had the most success with, is lay claim. Which is yeah, lay like claim. Yeah. The objectives down, but again, it's it's a risky one because if you go first, you have to kill. You basically have to rely on killing your opponents, and you have stuff have stuff left to score them at the end of the game. If you go second, you get a bit more of a guaranteed of it, but it feels like a bit more like a win more, if that makes sense. Like if you're winning because you've tabled them, you're going to get 15. If you go second, it can swing the game. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Which again is what I found in my demons game where we just sort of knocked socks out of each other, basically. And yeah. then it was like, okay, these are what's going to win me the game now. Mm. And he was like, oh, you know, like, and it was like that sort of moment of like, wow, okay, you know, like, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. quite good. Yeah, um, yeah. And then like they they could do the book secondary as well because they're good at killing, you know, yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know, like, and then putting the wizard back in has helped me with the secondaries. But, yeah, I think that helps a lot. You know, a, se- a secondary change would be nice um, again. And then we'll look at the, that was like the one I'll give him the one good bit. And then now we'll have, this is what I think should be nerfed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, potentially how you put judgment tokens on things yep. um because it is a bit too easy i'd rather yep. have maybe there's a limit on how many times you can give something a judgment token in one turn yeah okay okay because obviously like every time you kill a unit you get one and well, that's a bit yeah. bad every yeah, time yeah. you do an act every time you successfully do an action that's the one that i'm like maybe <laughs> maybe just at the end of the phase pick one unit that successfully finished an action and give him yeah you can because because yeah. obviously the reason I don't think Tau's that concerning is because of how marker lights work. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you're like, I'll marker light you. I'm like, cool, so you get judgment taken. Yeah. yeah. And then and then now that gives me the ability to shoot at you before you shoot me. Um, <laughs> my strat. So that, again, yeah. like, it's just a bit nutty. And then yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, maybe just limiting them to, like, at the end of the phase, pick one unit that successfully did an action, give it a judgment taken, mm-hmm. you know. The Carl's fine because it's like a one, you know, like it happens yeah. once how it interacts with his rules is, is not fine yeah, <laughs> and yeah, when, yeah. when you then are like he killed a unit and at the end of the phasing pick two units and give him judgment tokens it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. um one at the end of the object on, on an objective at the end of the turns fine like because mm-hmm. again it's one unit right yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. um so that would so be maybe good. those kinds of limitations apply yeah across just because i feel yeah. like i'm just like Give it, you know, like I'm just giving them out, and I just get a bit like exhausting just putting all the tokens. Yeah, I didn't. I, I've got a load of the. I've got um like casino chips because I just ah uh, nice, yeah. Nice, I don't yeah. like because I got a bit annoyed when I was like cloaking them all out. And I was like <laughs> one, three, and I'm like yeah, 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 yeah where's okay. two, and then two's on on that one with a one, and I'm like okay, yeah. I don't get it. I'm yeah. just gonna go out and buy some tokens. Um, so that's good, right? Like that's what I that would be good. Um, and then we'll look at like. So the leagues, right? The only league I think that needs changing is is Ymir because of mm-hmm. how good it is. Yeah, five up involve for two, two up save, six up involve for everyone else. That'd be good. I don't, yeah. I don't know why it's five up. It just is a bit mad. How I, yeah, five yeah, up. yeah. Um, sure. Beams, beams are funny, right? Because mm. I think they've had the, they've had their change, you know. So I yeah. Don't, it's a weird. The change was weird, and I do think that I will state this by saying that. They do need to also just clarify how it works with friendly units. Now. They do, they do, yeah. So every event I've been to, everyone I've played, they they've normally just asked me how would I want to play it, which is very mm. nice, but it which is a privilege that I've had, but not everyone's yeah. gonna be in the same position. No, 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 no. Um, of course. How I hope that it is gonna be ruled by most people if there's not a GW clarification soon, is mm-hmm. that they also have to be eligible. Mm-hmm. You can't just shoot. Yeah, I, yeah. Otherwise, we've got this like instance of like because I I was explaining it to someone the other day when at the RTT I went to. I just I I said to him I was like, okay, so this is the example with the beam, right? 
I'm in combat with you. You're in combat with me. I'll shoot a beam, and it and it puts a line between your model in combat and my unit in combat. This now means that I hit. I don't hit your Khan effects in combat, but I hit my own unit. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, it has." To, so so he was like, "Yeah, okay, right." And I was like, "Yeah." So it needs why. consistency, right? It definitely yeah. whichever way you go, it needs to have that that consistency of application yeah. i think yeah. beams and is a funny one i agree with you i think they've had some of the, the changes in the direction they're going are fine and i didn't mind beams because it's sort of like i actually think probably a few more guns in 40k could benefit from being a bit like that i think it'd be quite cool to have yeah. a few other big guns a right? las cannon would be fine, yeah right? exactly las cannon's a great <laughs> example right you never see las cannons now i think if they had an effect like that and maybe maybe that's what we'll see who knows but like yeah it would be it would be really interesting and so i'd rather see another type of weapon that creates a problem in more places than yeah. just oh we don't like that because it's new and it's different let's get rid of it you know sort of yeah like it, <laughs> it's a funny one right and then you've got the whole like debate of if it's an attack or not and i'm like yes. so obviously if for anyone that's not getting what i mean for necrons you know how can can they reanimate from it oh of course yes, so yes this is the yeah. whole like this is the whole one that i've had recently mm. it seems necrons always cause the problem like can the <laughs> silent king pick up his men is yeah, 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 yeah. Me? like so God, it's necrons. the whole thing of because it says the unit being attacked counts as it obviously being hit but then everything else just you make a wound roll it doesn't say anything about it counts as any a form of attack or anything mm, mm-hmm. it's like does it does it work and it's like i obviously Common sense prevails here, I hope, and I would say yes. Obviously, they get a reanimation roll against it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you know. So you would resolve, annoying as it would be, you would resolve one beam. At, you know, we resolve all the beams, and then you'd do it. Right? Yeah. Um, but it's you know, like it just needs it. Just, it's one of those things where because of how a lot of the community can be, um, because <laughs> there's so many people that play the game. There's so many interactions. There's so many interpretations. The English language is vast. <laughs> it is all the nice is. ways of saying it. There just needs to be like a. There just needs to be like a. No, obviously it's this. Yeah, just um, get that clarity. No, completely. Yeah, and that's um, the thing. It's like yeah. the mechanics. It's the same with the judgment tokens. It's like the principle of that is very dwarfy and very cool, mm. right? The idea yeah. of grudges building up that's phenomenally thematic and it's really cool and it's just the execution where it's like okay good first try let's let's make this a bit tighter so it doesn't feel so easy and so it doesn't yeah. feel quite so devastating right yeah it's you know it's the ease of it that's the yeah. problem and yeah then exactly the, the thing was is right if if it if it was a mechanic that was just like it's a mechanic and it it only ever works within its confined self Mm-hmm. I think it wouldn't be that bad, but the fact no, no, that, no. that stratagems interact with it... It's the way everything there. else comes off of it. Yeah, so like you end up being like, okay, I've just done a banner, and now I can be re-rolled hits, I'm being mm-hmm. auto wound on sixes, I can, you know, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that, and it's like, okay, right. Like, if they go first, like, every time someone's like, I bet you wanted to go first, I'm like, actually, no, because then I can give you, like, potentially, like, one, two, three, you know, X amount of judgment tokens before I've even started playing. Mm. And you know some matchups, obviously that's different because you want to shoot them. But um, you no, know, we can't all be you know can't all have what we want. Um, no, exactly. Maybe void armor change as well. This is like this is like oh, a, interesting. Okay, you know, I just the thing is right as I look at it and I go, I'm Iron Warriors, and I have armor contempt, and I have my league, and then I have judgment yeah. taken. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It feels like a lot. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't think the AP part's too bad. I'd rather have you. I'd rather have minus one AP than I can't reroll wounds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because where a lot of the dudes are four up. But obviously, being Ymir, I've not really like. If I get hit by a minus two, most of my guys are getting on a five up anyway. If yeah, I get yeah, by yeah. minus three, I'm on a four up anyway. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. The re- no reroll wounds combined with that, and then combined with yeah. like everything is just it just feels a bit whoa okay yeah it's it's a lot it is a lot and i think that's that's something i wanted to check with you because certainly my feeling reading it and building this and looking at it is like i would almost rather have slightly more guys that were a bit less nuts right and in in the long term yeah. thinking long term here right and this is because i think i think the way they've adjusted the points and made the list really small and and the sort of the, these versions this really are you know packing yeah. packing a very very small amount of stuff in <laughs> and they're still doing great that that works as a solution in the short term as the adjustment going yeah. forward I, I i suspect lots of 
Votan players will be like, I'd rather have just a few more of my toys on the board and have them slightly less godlike, <laughs> you know, one, if, one way if, or the other, right? Yeah. <laughs> if a land fortress went up 20 points and dudes went down by 10 points for a unit of 10, I would be happy. I'd be yeah, very yeah, happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because everyone, like, obviously everyone went nuts when the land fortress went up by 20 <laughs> points. Like, yeah. I literally had group chats of, like, in the VT one that we have mm. where Dave your favorite person and hey, uh, other other vanguard tactics people were like earth god are terrible land fortress is terrible <laughs> and i literally was like i was looking at it i was like i actually still think i it's only till recently i dropped my earth guard they were still yeah. solid for me yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah land fortress i think is perfect like when we when i played the final at the gt my my friend liam also from vt one of my best friends you know so again it was a nice game turned around to me and he was like just out of interest if the points changes didn't happen what do you get extra and I was like, I actually get a whole extra land fortress. <laughs> and yeah. his face was like, no, nah, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, which, but that's like, but that just, in my opinion, that just shows how good it is by the fact totally. that people still take two. Totally. You just assume that in the old points, people would take three. Yeah, yeah, exactly um, that. And you this know, is why so. I'm glad. I'm really glad it's why that those changes happened before people started buying stuff. Because uh, the memory I had was the repulsor, right? And I was, I was just like, oh, people yeah. went and got, people went and bought three repulsors, and then that's yeah. never happened since. And I was like, I don't want a bunch of players getting excited buying three land fortunes, which mm. is expensive as hell. Yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah, and then, and then not, moment, you know? and then no, never using three, right? So I'm just glad they saw that off and prevented that from happening. I, so think, I think it's. Is that a lot of people you've got you've got two sides of it, right? You've got the people yeah. who are moaning because they've they've want they've already like it's not been played, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's not out yet. Yeah, why, yeah. Are, why is everyone moaning? And then you've got the other side of it of no, but actually like look at you know, like I don't want to go out, buy a two thousand point army and find out that my list has just gone up by five hundred points, so I can't use half the model like one fourth of the models I've just bought. Um, yeah. like w- with me it was like, you know, I, I had an inkling that obviously something's going to happen with the amount of community outrage. Like I've never seen anything like it. At least I don't know if it was <laughs> yeah. the same for you. Like it felt. Like it was. It was very anything. loud. I think I missed most of the noise. I don't know whether I was just busy in life at the time, but I, yeah. it must have been to have the sort of impact it had. Yeah. Like there was. Do you know what's funny? Right, there was no noise in the VT chat about them. Um, um, the, now there's a lot because obviously because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I've been like I was saying to someone like. Um, I think it was Dom from um, the Real Space Raids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk. Let's talk. Whatever Patty yeah, yeah. decides to wear. Um, and he was like, <laughs> he's like, "What's your list?" And I was like, "It's Double Land Fortress with X Y Z." You know, like, and he was yeah, like, yeah. "I would absolutely hate to play versus Double Land." Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, it's honking." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's um, so brutal, isn't it? It's so yeah. brutal. It's, I mean, should we yeah. talk? Like, that's a quite a nice place to sort of wrap up before we go. I yeah. mean, in terms in terms of your favourite units and combos, the Land Fortress has come up a few times, so we can probably start there. But what yeah. are what are the what are the sort of one twos that you're finding that you're enjoying the most in terms of units, combos, etc.? Yeah, so like obviously number one's the Land Fortress. Yeah, um, pew, pew. you know, like I've, I've spoken <laughs> about it. It's, it's a distant lover. You know, it's replaced my picture. <laughs> It's replaced my desk picture of me and Steve with it. So, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, so we can't like he It is. It's it's funny, right? Because everyone everyone goes on about a land raider is a bit poo. And then when they did the Chaos Land Raider, they were like, everyone likes the Chaos Land Raider mm-hmm. now. And mm-hmm. then it's like now we introduce Land Fortress. And it's mm-hmm. like all the guns has ignore light cover for some mm-hmm. reason. <laughs> it, it can put 12 dudes in it for some reason yeah. <laughs> it's got very good guns it's durable yeah. and then it's it, on its own it's honking and then you look at the <laughs> forge master and the forge yeah. master's like do not talk to me or my sons ever again yeah. <laughs> like full on like damage I don't care about mm-hmm. i'll heal four wounds like i've only so i've only so i've played and I've got it on my phone. Hang on, I, I'm going to get the thing up. So I, I like the, <laughs> I, I've been keeping track of all my games with um, Votan, right? So in eight games, eight games competitively, I've lost them. I've lost both of them in one game, and I've lost one of them in two games. The rest of mm-hmm. them, every other game, they've survived. Yeah, um, yeah. that's help from the Forge Master, who has a once per turn ability. Pick one within six, make a damage zero. Yeah. The reason this is amazing is because it's not the first time you can't bait no. it out. No. I am just gonna wait. Um, wait for that big shot. 
yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then and then it heal four wounds on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's so the combo. I mean, it, it's that combo of really good buffing little lad with big scary vehicle. When yeah. it, when it's when it's right, it's devastating, right? Absolutely yeah. devastating. <laughs> so that's the big one, right? And then you've got like probably it's it sits at the berserkers then just because mm-hmm. uh, you know very point efficient, very incredibly durable. so. Incredibly even so. even not in the Ymir League where mm-hmm. they don't get their five up involved, they're still durable. Like they get oh, five yeah. up five up damage prevention roll. If it's one damage, it's four up. Yeah. Like any army in the game would love that, right? So yeah, oh yeah, and then and then you combo it with like they all have thunder hammers or they yeah. have axes. And <laughs> yeah, I, I I thought axes was the way forward. I've mm-hmm. I've looked into it and I've gone actually I was wrong. I've I've got mm-hmm. them with thunder hammers now because there's mm-hmm. a severe lack of damage free in the army and, and yeah. they have it in abundance. Um, and yeah, the, you know, and then they have a built in fight on death. Like, they do is- the fight. The fight on death is great. <laughs> Yeah. But also the there's the strat is re-roll hits, right, into something yeah. with a grudge token, which just means that any any negatives to the hammers yeah. is gone, right? Yeah, that's just... the thing, isn't it? Like <laughs> uh, you know, like you've got so many they've got so many strat support, you know, like you said, mm-hmm. you've got re-roll hits because of a judgment taken. They can just re-roll their hits if they charge if they for one CP as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Units doing it. If yeah. they've got free judgment tokens on them, every hit's a wound and you're re-rolling all <laughs> your hits. Like it's just it's <laughs> It's absolutely bonkers, and again, yeah, from, yeah. speaking from someone who's like, okay, this is free damage, and playing against a lot of things, and and every game it was like, you know, in the game I drew at this RTT I went to, having free damage on these berserkers is the difference, you know, yeah, it's the yeah, difference yeah. between killing and not killing, and and you know, so they're definitely the the second place, and then the third is probably like the. It used to be the hearth guard, but now I've dropped them completely. It's probably just like naturally how weird warriors are. Cause yeah, because they're, they're like they're weirdly good. Like yeah, you get, like people like I, I've been again. I'm speaking to other people such as Nassim and other and other you know war gamers. And mm-hmm. Nassim was quite hot on the warriors in mm-hmm. the combat league. Very similar to yourself as well. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, I've just got them as my obligatory troop. But every game that you know, they they go out, get an objective. They've got a medic in them. They're tough. Mm-hmm. They can shoot a lot. And then if yeah, they yeah. end up going down to a point where you know there's not a lot of them left, I can just bring D three back. That swings an objective, and yeah, it's 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 a big deal. Yeah, right? the D three the D three heal back. I'm already I'm looking at UKTC boards, and just it's just it's just great, right? You can just yeah some some missions where you just you boop a dwarf out, and it's like yeah, you can kill him. He'll come back next time. I don't mind. Like <laughs> it's all it's all very relaxed. Like, yeah, it's it's the difference in it. Um, and as I said, like again, when we're looking at the margins, like you know, again in mm. in the highest level of playing competitive play, and you're playing against someone of very skill, some skill level, and and all that, and all army power, and and you mm-hmm. look at the margins that you've got to be able to try and get you the 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 win and the points. Yeah. The ability to bring back D three obset guys could yeah. be the difference from swinging an objective. Absolutely huge, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it's definitely that. So it's definitely those are the the favoured three. Hearthguard are amazing. I don't. I, again, yeah, I, I, I really know, like them. I they are expensive. They are expensive. So it I, it's it gets hard when you're writing this. You're looking at them just like, oh, look at that big brick of points. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. so I so amazing. Max I've ever run is eight. Yeah. Um. Because I just think eight's the the number in it. Like, yeah. it, it's enough. It's enough vol kite to be able to try and plink on some mortar wounds. It's enough mm-hmm. grenade shots to shoot whatever's in the way. It's mm-hmm. enough for them to be able to survive. I just think it's the moment I sort of realised like these need to go is I dropped one and got like a whole you know like essentially a whole unit nearly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then i yeah. dropped two and got the grim wear and then yeah the, that's and it the, and then i was at five and i was like do you know what there's no point of having five yeah <laughs> like, it's exa- i've had the exact same experience where you sort of you trim one guy off and you're like oh look at all these extra little things i've been able to yeah. stick in here like it's all uh you know all the little five point upgrades on squads and bikes yeah, and everything it's like oh i've just got so many things out of it like, and then think, yeah you cut it down and then there's no point like <laughs> yeah like so to put in perspective so i i i dropped so i ended up being on seven and then i dropped seven i've gained my grimware five berserkers and yeah. ten warriors obviously yeah. other upgrades come in some slightly yeah. other like i dropped the high car as well because i didn't need it okay yeah, yeah you know, sure. just little things but like the mm-hmm. fact of like mm-hmm. dropping one squad and one upgrade got me a character and two units like you yeah. can't argue especially when the games are coming down to all i've got left is a land forge you know yeah. land forge is a few heroes the extra squad could mean I have an extra squad left. Exactly. With a bit, so yeah. I I think that's the 
again without touching wood and all that like obviously lva is coming up and stuff i i do have the the, the pleasure of going and i think that's oh, amazing the way I'll, I'll be going with it so yeah you know. yeah yeah no that's that's awesome like i that i had the exact same experience with aberrants when i write gsc list which is like oh. i always i always want to have some aberrants in man i love aberrants but then oh, you're like oh, you're love, just like oh, oh, as soon as you start yeah. accounting for how many gsc units you can get I if you know. take aberrants out it's just I, ridiculous i <laughs> love aberrants oh, so much so cool. again they are this cool that like, i always found success i know that we're not talking about vata but like we're talking about vata but <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 10 aberrants i always love right and again like, yeah, we use them as, as the example for people that may be watching so so i can get my love for aberrants in yeah love them 10 of them are great give them the bonuses give them the buffs they're amazing right same as hearthguard yeah when you drop them you then realize how much stuff you're gaining yes and it's like then you have to ask yourself the three questions is it <laughs> is it gaining me points in the game yep potentially so that's mm-hmm. one tick is mm-hmm. it going to kill about the same yes that's another tick mm-hmm. final thing will it help me win a game a tournament mm-hmm. or whatever mm-hmm. and, sa- and sadly it's a yes so then you have to then go okay i'm really sorry it's not yeah. you it's me yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, they see other people being picked up into the box and they're like you know yeah story time (laughs) yeah yeah no it's interesting is it i I, I like the hearth guard combination with the warp strike and the teleporting and all that stuff but it's it's just whether it yeah it 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 feels like you you're throwing a very big stone and you're having to throw it in a very particular way yeah and do you know what It's, it's also the whole like you've hit the nail on the head as well you know you, you you it's the big rock you put yeah. the big rock down and it's a it's big like, swing so you need to make it count <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and with, with me it's like because i've got the two land fortresses i've got two big rocks so now mm-hmm. i've got two big rocks and some pebbles yeah i can just <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah yeah and, yeah, yeah. and do you know what and, and again hopefully it, it works out in terms of my my ability to be able to play obviously with the mm-hmm. christmas period coming up i'm not gonna be able to get as many games in as i want nah, to nah, nah, nah. um naturally i think is for the same thing yeah rightly so um, yeah yeah <laughs> but i hope that with hopefully when i you know we when, when this comes out and i look back on this and if i have been able to get a few games on it i was like oh, do you know what i was right and, yeah absolutely <laughs> you know, so. no, no i completely agree and i think it's really exciting that you're taking them to LVO. So I guess that's that's a nice place to close out. Is yeah, where yeah. where are you where are you going to be running them in the sort of near future? What what have you got I, sort of in the pipeline to use the Votem? Um, look, like I'm not the most organised person. Like, okay? <laughs> Neither am I, mate. Um, am I. And you know what? I think with Vegas being such a big trip, once like I don't, I again really humbled. I get to go and do all this mm. stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's mainly it's Vegas. Yep. We obviously, before oh, yeah. this, we were speaking about the Southampton major. Yes, yeah, yeah. Running. I'm um, really, really keen to go. Really yeah, keen so, to go. So that is that 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 one in Beachhead, which would be, mm-hmm. which is the um, in Bournemouth. So very yes. close to my area. Yes. Don't mm-hmm. have to travel a lot. Can give the wallet a rest. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the first place I chatted to you at Beachhead, actually, because I think yeah. we, you were on the GSC and I hadn't yeah. I hadn't taken the plunge yet. So I was just like, I hello. Made to, I made it to table one after two games. Yeah. And then yeah. You were like, oh, okay. Whoa. Um, we gave you a bit of false sense that I actually knew what yeah. I was doing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and it, it's just that. So they're the, they're the free. So obviously, if anyone, you know, it would be great, obviously, to see you there obviously tom and absolutely and to see the rest of you guys i do like seeing you all of you at um tournaments and stuff dave mm. dave and dave who i know uh, with his gray knights is one of the loveliest men and, oh he's um, a great oh, guy yeah, absolutely yeah, 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 absolute, yeah, yeah honestly i i love play i love i played him at um <laughs> i played him at lgt in 2021 so like the yes. first one after covid and yes. honestly just had the time of my life and it was amazing yeah. so, oh he's, he's like, great yeah, when I saw he was with you guys, I was like, "Oh, I'm so happy." <laughs> like, yeah, no, amazing. he's he's um, I think he's the, the like the truest embodies the truest sort of spirit of 40k playing. I think of, of, of any of us, like, because it's just, it's a good game, right? And, and he's a lovely man. Yeah. Did you see this whole thing with Steve, where he would played Steve at one event, and then for, he yeah. got him round one for our next one as well? We, this was a bit <laughs> of a, ru- a running joke in our yeah. in our chat. It was like, "Oh, he's just you're just going to match into Steve Fox yeah. forever now." Hey, Dave, well, so. <laughs> we we used to have a running chat with Steve that he would always play Admech round one because yeah. that was just five events on the trot he played them round one Ugh, i'm not talking yeah. like admech now i'm talking no no Ad-Mech. no and admech when like, you did not want it <laughs> yeah it was like malik at lgt Oof. 
back and then it was like random some random guy at Leicester the year mm. before and and you know so we had that and you know it, it's it's funny how things work right like yeah you're a 200 man event and you pair yeah. the same guy you know yeah like, it's just and it just forms these little weird patterns and it's just it's just always great fun um yeah. awesome okay well I think I think that's that's probably enough for today and and it's been a really lovely conversation i feel like i've learned a lot and i really appreciate you taking the time and i think it sounds like votan are in a really nice spot for the next few months and that's that's really exciting to see and i look forward to seeing what you do with them um and i'm I'm looking for you know it's like like you know anyway and i've said to you before like you know just let me know how you're getting on and and all that like you know i my 100 percent open and stuff and yeah absolutely the beauty of the game isn't it that people have like everybody has a different view on things and then i like to see what other people doing as well so just because yeah. i've been doing something it doesn't mean that it validates what anyone else has been doing no exactly um, exactly and and yeah so obviously you know and i do i do love what you guys do here so just obviously keep that up as well and i, oh, think, I appreciate it a lot thank keep, you yeah keep keep that keep that <laughs> going in the same same direction and you're gonna yeah be, absolutely you're gonna you're gonna have an amazing time and stuff that's so. great no that's that's really cool man i appreciate it and hopefully i can i can uh get a get a game into your dwarves at some point that'd be really fun to do yeah <laughs> maybe at an event we could do a well, yeah i was gonna say it'll be, so, be some, something something down <laughs> south we can move some pairings around get it get it done yeah. if we could. I'll, I'll probably, <laughs> i could probably buy adam enough drinks of each yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic all right brilliant well we will sign off there thank you very much uh, to everyone listening if you have any sort of questions or comments for jake obviously fire them in um, and we will see you all again next time. Have a nice Christmas time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye bye.